Pip here. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to double shot. Now, this video is mainly towards PSVR users because it's harder to aim and get more accurate with your shots. But if you are watching and you're a PC VR user, it's fine because I'm also going to be showing you how to double shot. So I think we should just get straight into the video right now. See you there. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is grab a bow. Now you can either go into Gone Trophy, Crimson Cauldron, and you can practice in the lobby. Or you can go and make a custom room, make it private, and you know, yeah, you can just grab a bow from there. Or you can just do it in your dorm room. So once you have your bow, now the first thing that I like to do is I like to make it sideways. The reason of sideways is because I feel like it's easier when it's like, when you're like swaying your hand back and forwards. So wh what you're going to have to do is obviously you've got to grab onto this little green thing whilst it being sideways. And you've got to pull it back. Now you've got to get it to around about this full speed, like this full length. The reason of is because if you don't, then it's going to go off in the sideways as you see or i my one of my bullets went up but then that one went down so if if you do it full back then you're gonna have that now i know that yeah it isn't gonna be accurate because it's sideways and accurate <laughs> being accurate and sideways isn't really possible but if you keep doing this you just keep trying and trying and trying you're gonna be able to double shot like this yes i understand it's gonna be you know, not accurate, but it's, you know, a start. So, let's go on to the next part. So, now as you've learned the basics on how to double shot, now let's focus on getting more accurate. So, the first thing that you do to get more accurate with your shots, to get more closer together, is you've got to learn to have your bow and arrow facing forwards. Now, the reason why you want it to be facing forward is because then all your shots are going to be going forward, not, you know, wherever. Like, that's basically what doing sideways works, because if you do that, then it's like that. But then if you're doing it so it's all together, then you're going to be getting two shots, as you can see right there. So, now, it's the exact same with the sideways method, but this time it's just standing up. And I would advise, if you have your bow and arrow, like, around about, obviously, here's my top shoulder. Then if you get it to uh, around about here. And then you're going to have to pull this all the way back to your other shoulder. Now, you can definitely, if you're being fast, because that's also something that I forgot to say. You've got to be very fast when you're doing it sideways. Because if you're not doing it fast... Then you're going to end up doing that. Or you're not going to be killing the enemies fast enough. So, let's just get focusing on how to become more accurate. As you can see here, I've set up some targets in the background. I've made them through simple spheres. I've just flattened them down, cloned them, keep scaling them down. Now, once you've done this, I would advise that you make a big one, a small one, and a really, really little one. So, I'm going to be showing you on how you can actually learn to practice, you know, to be able to shoot target better. So, what I like doing is stepping forward first, just getting these two shots. If you keep doing that, then you're definitely going to get better with shooting with big t bigger targets. So, more, more or less of the red goblins. Now, in my opinion, I find these ones like the green... Like the green goblins, I always find these ones like them. You can actually put them more lower down to the floor if you need to. But like I said, if you just keep, you know, you start from go walking forward and, you know, being more forward and going backwards and keep, you know, keep doing it each different time, then you're going to get way more better at double shot. Then I also find these at the small goblin flies. Now you could actually spawn in AIs. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll probably be making another uh, video later on about that. But it's really easy, but you can set up AI, and that can also help, because the AI are, like, from Golden Trophy and Crimson Cauldron. I'd advise starting off with the smaller ones, so the green goblins to uh, the red goblins. Clicks on how to double shot. Congratulations. Now, go and show off to your friends. Play some, do some amazing, amazing tricks on Golden Trophy and Crimson Cold Run. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.